Welcome to the Green Appy channel. In this video, you'll learn how to set up integration with Make. In the Make service, the Green Appy platform has its own app that allows you to send messages on WhatsApp. Log in or register an account on Make. Install the Green Appy app in Make. To do this, follow the link in the description below the video, or you can also find it in our documentation under the Integrations Make section. Click the Install button. Select the organization where the app will be installed and click the Install button. Go to the Install It Apps page and check the availability of the app for your organization. To use the app, you need a registration token and instance ID from your Green API personal account. You can use the free developer plan to test our API. For more details, check our documentation. In your Green API personal account, Copy the values of the instance ID and instance IP token to work with make scenarios. Now let's look at the process of creating a scenario, which means automated processes in make. Each scenario consists of a trigger and an action. When a trigger is activated in one of the apps, make automatically performs actions in another. In the side menu in make, click the scenarios button. On the scenarios page, click create a new scenario to create a new scenario. The scenario has been successfully created. To receive messages in Make, you'll need to set up a trigger, which is the event that will start the scenario. For example, this could be a new message in WhatsApp, a new entry, Google Sheets, and so on. To receive messages in the Green API app, there are two types of triggers implemented. New message webhook and last incoming messages. Choose the trigger that works best for you. For more details, check our documentation. As an example, let's look at last incoming messages. In the scenario, click on the plus sign. In the list of apps, find Green API. Choose a method for receiving messages. You may notice that in Make, methods for the trigger are marked with the ACD tag. Insert the values of your instance ID and instance IP token. In the Create a Connection window, click Save to save it. To make the trigger respond to messages from any contact or chat, Select No in the Only from Specified Chat Field. Run a test by clicking the Run Once button. If there's an incoming message in the selected chat and the test is successful, click on the Expand icon to see which fields will be available when setting up the action. The trigger is set up and ready to use. Now let's set up the action in Make to Send Messages when the trigger is activated. All actions follow the methods of Green API. You can read more about the methods in our documentation. Let's look at setting up the action for the send message method. To send the action, click on the semicircle next to the trigger. Then a blank gray circle with a plus sign will appear. Select the app to perform the action. To do this, find Green API in the list of apps. Select the method for sending messages, send message. From the connection list, choose an existing connection or add a new one by clicking the add button. In the chat ID source field, choose the option that works best for you to enter the chat number. The manual option means entering the number manually. The from contact list option means selecting a number from the contact list. Fill in the chat ID field manually or select it from the contact list. Run a test by clicking the run once button. If the test is successful, click on the expand icon to see the details of the action result. Let's check the result on the number that the message was sent to. The action is set up and ready to use. In this video, you learned how to set up the Green APIs integration in Make. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to reach out to our support team.